What's good, y'all? This is the kid, DC Wrestling. This is going to be my uh, official predictions for AEW All Out. You know, we're about a week now removed from AEW All In. And now we got the next pay-per-view taking place, you know, AEW All Out. There's a lot of wrestling that's been going on, to be honest with you, because we had All In last week. And then this past weekend, we had Bash in Berlin. Um, obviously, the timing of this video, we got NXT No Mercy. And then we have All Out, which is this up and coming Saturday. And then literally... Bad Blood is next uh, month. So just a lot of wrestling going on, obviously. Um, but nevertheless, good wrestling. Um, this should be a really good show for AEW. Um, just by judging this card alone, I'm going to first start off with Will Ospreay versus Pac for the International Championship. You know, Pac obviously uh, won uh, to get the opportunity. And um, he took out Will Ospreay on Dynamite. You know, he hit him with the Poison Rana. And uh, send a little message to Will Ospreay. And I think Will Ospreay will retain here. The man just won the title at All In. But nevertheless, man, this match between him and Pac, it should be really good, man. It should be good. You know, Will Ospreay has had a stretch of just some of the best matches that that has happened in AEW this year. So this one will probably be no exception, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah. Two gifted wrestlers going at it for the title. I mean, you can't script in any other way. Now, Willow Nightingale is taking on Chris Statlander in a Chicago street fight for the CMLL Women's World Championship. We all know Willow Nightingale and Stokely. Well, Chris Statlander, they've been having their own personal feud for the past couple months now. Me personally, I think Chris Statlander does go over here. I feel like she is going to win the CMLL Women's World Women's World Championship. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that this the, this is the match for her to win. You know, they could give it to Willow, but I just something tells me, man, they're gonna give it to Chris Statlander. You know, but moving on from that, man, another personal big rivalry heading into this show. You got Swerve Strickland versus Hangman Adam Page in a steel cage match. I don't even need to go down the history between these two men. We all know their history between each other. But um, if this is pretty much the tiebreaker, because what's definitely the, the match to end the feud, I would personally give the feud to Swerve. I feel like Swerve going to win the steel cage match. He's going to beat Hangman. You know, also kind of rebound from what happened and losing this championship. Um, but then again, they could give it to Hangman. But for the sake of the prediction video and just something tells me again, kind of similar to the women's match, I think they're going to give Swerve, man. I think Swerve, this is just his night to win, and he's going to be swerving, driving all throughout Chicago, Illinois. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it there. But it should be a fun matchup. You know, there's definitely going to be some blood. I mean, the two guys are going to beat the holy crap out of each other. You know, they don't like each other, obviously. And then the next match, you know, you got MJF and Daniel Garcia, Danny Boy, Daniel Garcia. Um, some would call him, you know, obviously MJF tried to take out Daniel Garcia. I would give the win to Daniel Garcia, to be honest with you. Like, it'd be nice for Garcia to get the surprise, like, win, considering from a kayfabe standpoint, MJF took him out of action. The dude lost feelings in his arms. Like, he was out for months, for weeks. But... Something tells me MGF, I don't know how he's going to do it. He ain't going to use the diamond ring because that thing got stolen. So somehow, some way, MGF just pulls out the win. And um, I still think it's one of those losses where Daniel Garcia loses, but he's still like, he doesn't like fully get buried in the process. Because obviously, you know, people think just because you lose a wrestling match, you're automatically buried. But it's how you lose the wrestling match. So in this case, maybe, I don't know, Daniel Garcia... Um, goes down swinging, and, you know, he puts up a fight in the end, but it's just not enough to beat Max, you know. I'm going to go on with Mercedes Monet versus Britt Baker for the AEW TBS Championship. Um, I don't know why it says Britt Baker. It looks like they're doing a rematch, but from my understanding, I, I want to say Hakar, it's actually Hakar Shida, I want to say, because apparently they did a fatal four-way match at... Um, I think on Collision, 
and a car sheet of one. So I think they're doing Mercedes Monet versus a car sheet of, but if they are doing Mercedes versus Brit again, regardless, Mercedes Monet is retaining her TBS championship. I mean, she she going to retain it, so it don't matter if she's retain if she's defending her championship against the Green Gobbler. Like she she's not losing that AEW TBS title at, at all out. Like no no way, Jose, you know. And then what will be the main event? Brian Danielson versus Jack Perry for the for the world championship. You know, man, <laughs> Jack Perry, like, you already know he gonna get heat, man. I mean, he going in Chicago. We all know what this is about, about to be like. He gonna come out there. He gonna he gonna do something that ties with CM Punk. He's gonna he's gonna get the heat. He's gonna do what he does. But Jack Perry ain't winning the world championship, man. Like he he. There's no way in hell he 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 wins here. Like there's again no way Jose Danielson nah Danielson got this in the bag. He gonna win. You can kind of look at this match a little bit of predictable too, but um this should be a good match for the world championship. And you know, I mean yeah, that's pretty much really to say it. So yeah, that has been my official predictions though for AEW um all out. Um, I think this is going to be the only like matches on the card. They might add maybe one more or two more. We'll see. But as far as I'm concerned, overall, it uh, should be a really good show.